Welcome to the PPI Gas Pipeline Calculator, developed by the Energy Piping System Division. This calculator uses the general flow equation for gas. It can be used to estimate gas flow rate, or pipe internal diameter, or pipe length, or inlet pressure, or outlet pressure. After entering any four of these parameters, it will calculate the fifth parameter. Input data to the calculator consists of pipe data, gas composition, gas properties, and units of measure. There isn't a button to clear the input data fields, so previously input data will remain unless the values are manually changed. Before entering data, it is advised to first click the units tab and change the units of measure for the input and output data to those desired. The calculator will, not con will convert input variables and calculated va variables automatically if a variable unit of measure is changed. The parameters for which the units of measure can be changed include gas temperature, pressure, pipe length, internal diameter, roughness of the inside of the pipe, elevation of the pipe ends, gas flow rate, velocity of the flow, and dynamic viscosity. At the pipe data tab, First select the parameter you would like to solve for by using the pull down menu. The choice of parameters to solve for include gas flow rate, pipe internal diameter, pipe length, inlet pressure, and outlet pressure. The four data fields after the solve for field will change based on what is selected in the solve for field. For example, gas flow rate is chosen. The user then has to input pipe internal diameter, pipe length, inlet pressure, and outlet pressure. If internal ID is selected to be solved for, gas flow rate must be entered, pipe length, inlet pressure, and outlet pressure. If outlet pressure is desired to be solved for, then gas flow rate, pipe internal diameter, pipe length, and inlet pressure have to be entered. The pull down menu on a pipe internal diameter field can be used to select the pipe size and DR for polyethylene pipe for which internal diameter will be calculated. If the internal diameter changes along a length of pipeline to be modeled, the user's manual describes a method to estimate the equivalent pipe length for a given ID. The elevation of the pipe ends can be entered, H1 and H2. The highest and lowest points along the pipeline can be used instead of the actual inlet and outlet elevations. The difference in elevation used in the calculator generally has little effect on the results. The pipe roughness is set for polyethylene. If the user would like to model a different pipe material, the roughness value needs to be manually changed. The pipeline efficiency of flow is set to 95%. This value can also be changed. Next, the composition of the gas must be entered after clicking the gas composition tab. 
a percentage of different gases can be entered as long as they total to 100%. Fields at the bottom of the page of the table allow the user to enter variables for gas that may not be in the table. The gas mixture, specific gravity, dynamic viscosity, and density are calculated from these gas percentages. The average compressibility of the gas mixture is determined from the average gas pressure and temperature. A typical natural gas composition may consist of 5% propane and 95% methane. This yields a specific gravity of 0.6. On the gas properties, you can see the vari variables calculated from the gas composition. These variables include molecular weight, pseudocritical temperature, pseudocritical pressure, specific gravity, and base density. Remember, input data will remain unless it is manually changed. A default base pressure and base temperature are set at 14.7 PSI absolute and 60 degree Fahrenheit. The user can manually change these values. The average compressibility factor and dynamic viscosity of the gas mix mixture will automatically be calculated after the gas composition is entered. These parameters can be manually changed by selecting the user defined as the variable determination factor. The method, methods used to calculate the average compressibility factor and dynamic viscosity are discussed in the user's manual. Other parameters on this gas properties tabs are automatically calculated. The gas inlet and outlet temperatures should be adjusted as needed if they are unknown and their average ground temperatures for each. After all the input variables have been entered and verified, click on the results tab. Results for the solve for variable are calculated using five different methods of estimating the frictional resistance. In this particular example, we chose outlet pressure. The outlet pressure is calculated using the five different methods of estimating the friction factor. Five different results are shown so the user can get a feel for the variability in the results due, due to the friction factor. In addition to the solve for parameter, other parameters used in the calculation are listed. See the user's manual for more information on these parameters. The general flow equation and the five different methods of estimating frictional resistance used in a calculator are shown on the equations tab. This is the general flow equation. F is the friction factor and these are the five friction factor methods used to determine friction factors used in this calculator. The differences in the flow equations comes from the assumptions used to reduce the general flow equation and to estimate the Darcy friction factor. The iterative process using the Colebrook-White equation typically give the best results for estimating the transmission factor. This method takes into account the relative roughness of the pipe, and the Reynolds number. Table 5.1 of the user's manual lists many methods for estimating the friction factor and the limits for their applicability. The gas calculator presents results based on using the following transmission factors. The Colebrook White modified, the IGT approved, the Chen method, the Golder Sonod method, and the Renault method.
going back to the results tab, a report can be generated by selecting the report button. Project data can be entered and the report can be downloaded or opened. The report summarizes all the input variables and the calculated variables. I hope this video has helped you become more familiar with the gas pipeline calculator. Thank you.